Thanks for showing up to watch this video. These videos are a kind of old hat from my Patreon site, but they're now released to the public, so I hope you find them helpful, and if you do, please like and share them. For the latest, newest daily readings, affirmations, every day, for lessons on how to read tarot, how to enhance your own psychic abilities, to have magical healing gemstones sent to your house every month that angels picked out for you, please check out my site, patreon.com slash terribly accurate. Let's get right to the video then. Hi Patreon! This is your tarot lesson for this week. Um, so the way I'm going to do this today is going into the suits. So I'm going to start with wands and it's just kind of a general overview of the wand energy and then you can let me know after you watch the video if you'd like a general overview for um, you know pentacles, cups, or um, swords next time or if you'd like to dig deeper into the wands and go through and break that down. Um, so just let me know your opinion because we can do it either way, okay? So we'll just get started. Um, I pulled a couple cards out randomly just to show you what wands look like. Now in the Gilded Tarot, they don't have buds on them like they would in the Rider Waite Tarot, which is kind of where I would say most people should start with their um, reading. It's the basic deck that most decks are built upon um, after. So as far as wands go, you see um, it's about, they're always about growth. Things are growing off of them, okay? And in some of the cards, more thing, there's more buds, there's more growth to be had than in others. Um, but wands are always about creativity, fire, passion, and they are associated to fire signs, which would be um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? So these are what the wands would look like. Okay. So wands, um, they're about adventure. Oh, I don't know if you saw that angel just fly by. I guess we picked the right suit to start with. <laughs> um, so wands are about creativity, excitement, but they're an action card as well. They're the card of doing stuff, getting stuff done, um, moving forward, you know, passion, creativity, excitement, adventure, all of those things. Now, if, and like I said, growth, okay? So creative ideas and making them grow. And it doesn't necessarily mean in regards to business because um, that would be a pentacle energy. But if you have a wands card next to a pentacle, it could say your creativity, your creative ideas could be turned into a business, something like that, okay? Now, wands, if you're talking about wands in regards to people, we could say, okay, this person is likely to be a fire sign or to have fire sign qualities, um, which would be outgoing, you know, or um, sometimes bossy. They could be very charismatic, very talkative. Um, but more than that, if you're talking about them as people, this is probably middle class, okay? This is like... People who work hard make an okay living, but they're not super wealthy. They're not really poor. Now, um, these kind of people are very smart. They are the kind of people that would, um, and not like the nerdy intellectual type, that would be more of a sword center, um, energy, but they're the kind of people who would buy a Toyota, right? Because... It's a good investment. You're not going to lose money on the car. It's not too flashy. Um, but uh, fire sign energy, they can be a little bit show-offy. Um, so maybe instead of a Toyota, they would get a Lexus, right? Because it's the same company. But it's not likely to break soon. <laughs> anyway, but the reason why I say this is because ones are multi-purpose. Okay, so it could be about multitasking. Um, ones... You can use them as a walking stick. You can use them to carry a banner or a wreath saying, look, I did a great job. In the Fool card, the guy's got it like a backpack, um, like a satchel. He's got his handkerchief tied to it. He's going on a walk. Um, but then with this card, you know, he's using it to defend himself. He's using it as a weapon. So multi-purpose, multitasking can be associated with wands. Um, what else did I want to say about wands? Determination, that's another thing. With wands, you see this guy, like, he's being burdened, but he's going to keep going because of his passion, right? 
oftentimes in wands cards, we will see um, colors like this, you know, fire, passion, excitement, reds and oranges, just like that burning desire, a lot of desire associated with wands. Um, this is like about what makes us tick. What's important to us? What are the things that we find value in? This is about value for us. Um, this is about ego as well. Um, the kind of person who has a lot of wand energy might be very uh, ego driven. Okay, they might care a lot about what other people think about them. Let's see, I've made some notes. Um, Got some notes over here too, see. <laughs> Sorry. I should have been more prepared. I put, should have put all my notes in one place. As far as um, using wands in a reading to tell time, I would associate wands with... Okay, so if you look this up online, I think that wands are associated with the spring... But personally, I associate them with summer. So it's going to be up to you how you want to interpret it, um, whatever feels right to you. And the reason why they're associated with spring, like if you're trying to gauge when is something going to happen, it's because new buds are forming. You know, they're not developed yet. However, for me, this is summer. Because if you look at the imagery on the cards, the sky is blue and clear and um, often sunny. You know, like that fire, that fire energy is just so summer to me. And maybe because I am a Leo and so a fire sign and therefore egotistical in a certain regard. So I think of all fire signs as Leos, um, even though they're Sagittarius and Aries, which are spring and fall. But to me, they represent summertime. Um... What else? I think that's kind of all I have to say about wands. Um, unless we're going to get into what does each card mean individually. But I didn't know if you'd like an overview of each suit first. Or if you would like to kind of delve into that. So what I'm going to do since this video is particularly short. Is I will release another one next week. Instead of doing it every other week. Um to do whatever your preference is. So we can cover cups, pentacles, swords, or um, start going through card by card and what does it mean. So let me know your preference and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. Mwah.